Mother than Christ, man. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today, welcome to the new subscribers and viewers. I will be making, well, I'll be baking some Christmas cake for the very first time. So we're going to make, we're going to start off by soaking the fruits, which is, we're using prune, I'll show you. So here we have the fruit wine and we have here I had put these to soak from last Saturday today is Tuesday so these have been this has been soaking from Saturday in the fruit wine so we have some prune raisin um, I already took some out of these parcels so you can see that the bag is full to soak some already. This was the first of prune that I pulled. Minced fruits or whatever they call that one and some currant or currant. Yes, so we're going to basically just as you can see this is this is in a bottle and if you're a Jamaican if you know you know yeah so I'm going to find another bottle or a container or something that I can put them to soak in I pref I had preferred a glass jar but you know we have to work with what we have so I it's just a matter of just taking out the stuff from the bags removing them from the bags putting them in a container and pouring the fruit wine on them and that's it you just leave it to soak and it's time for the action so i am starting by pureeing my fruits and one thing that i have found beneficial in soaking the fruits beforehand separate and apart from you know marinating the fruits into the alcohol the wine the rum whatever your mixture is i have found that soaking it beforehand definitely helps to soften the fruit so you get a better consistency when you are ready to bake the aroma of this it smells so good already so this one that i have pureed not so thin i'm going to just mix go ahead and mix it thick and some of the wine in the bottle to just rinse that out get all the fruits out it smells so good yes so i did not say what types of cake i'll be making but i will be experimenting even though it's my first time yes i'll be experimenting i will be making some sorrel cake as you can see here i am washing and prepping my sorrel and my ginger yes i will also be baking some gluten-free almond fruit cake black fruit cake and i will be adding a little bit of breadcrumbs to one of the the butters as well or the mixture as well so that's the little experiment so for the sorrel cake here i am after i've mashed the gingers 
I am um, I've added those to the pot added some pimento seed and some cinnamon powder you can definitely add the cinnamon sticks or the leaves whichever one you would prefer. I am just throwing off some of the sorrel so I can have this to spray the cakes to keep them moist while they bake and after they are baked. So here I am giving it a soil fruit cake. I've not rinsed out the blender. I'm just going straight ahead and add my soil to puree it up. Using a bit of the wine just to add some liquid. So it can be pureed much light trust me in the kitchen at this point it was just smelling so good this smells so good right so this is the mix that was telling you about the straining the soil to ensure that there's no leaves or any ginger or anything like that that was left in it and i am going to mix this with some fruit, fruit wine. wine here yes fruit wine and some real authentic brand if you overproof them you can add that definitely to your liking or depending on how strong you want it to taste as you moist moisten the cake as you go along with it after this baking or when it's finished i actually added the spray while it was baking and when it was finished going to continue to incorporate it until it is fully mixed the struggles when you don't have a cake mix so i eventually had to pour some of this butter and sugar mixture from the blender and process it little by little because what i realized is that it was too much for the blender so in doing that it as you can see the consistency here it was going smooth and it was perfectly blended and i am about to process the balance of what i initially said four cups of butter so i used four cups of butter and three cups of sugar for this entire cake baking process and here i am adding nine eggs taking out the eye and adding some lemon zest and you know the lemon zest is to help reduce or eliminate the rawness or to prevent the egg from tasting or smelling raw so i'm adding this to some of the butter and sugar mixture with some nutmeg grated nutmeg blend that and then add it to the first batch or portion of the butter and sugar this way there's no herb. mixture so i am evenly incorporating this butter sugar and 
egg with the lemon zest mixture then I am going to start with my dry ingredients I'm starting off with four cups of flour here and I'm using regular all-purpose flour or the regular flour that you use to cook you can always use your self-rising flour or you can use your baking flour but this one it works baking powder one thing I added probably about two tablespoons of baking powder and for the end result I realized that I needed oh, to add goodness. more baking powder here I am adding some cinnamon powder and just incorporate everything here is the sorrel batter mix in a circle and then you cut through the center of the circle circular motion down circular motion down yeah until everything is evenly mixed out there is no lump or anything i'm going in with my butter egg sugar lemon zest and nutmeg mixture first i added one cup because each cup or each pour is half of a cup i'm using a half cup measuring cup here and you know taste as it go along adding the fruits again this is a half cup measuring cup so that's one cup fruit and i used roughly around half of a pound of sorrel for this portion and i'm just mixing all the batters as i go along and i as you can see added one more cup of flour to the sorrel batter so each of these cup of the egg butter and sugar mixture is half of a cup so that's one and a half cup i generously added this portion the, the butter portion i generously added that because the more you add i understand that is the softer the cake would will be Trust me, this wooden spoon wasn't working for me because I realized that I added too much flour at once. And it just wasn't working. So I tried using the strainer to sift it to see if it would work out better. But I had to start using the whisk and adding my browning to liking or as desired. some white rum and i rinsed that browning butt out with the white rum and just pour it in that won't hurt you can see i am basically greasing the pans the others were already greased with butter Another thing that I found that I would do differently is I would add more batter to each of the cakes so it would it would give a little bit more fluff and I would definitely add more baking powder if I'm using that the same same type of flour which more than likely that's the one that I'm using because it's more economical to use it gets the job done. Ensure that you have your water bath so that pan that you see 
to the extreme lower section that's my water bath ensure that you have your water bath and as i told you before i'd be doing some experiments so i'm just doing it in stages i am adding some salt here because i totally forget to add some salt to the other batters and it did not change the taste or flavor of it i'm adding some rose water and you know just coloring this with my browning and here i am making the spray on cushion for the black fruit cakes all of them would be using the same sauce i'm using the rare nephew with straight fruit wine yep. So I took a set of the cakes out and I'm going to spray these. This one is finished. This one is not finished. I have to pop that back in the oven. I'm going to pop this right back in. This one is the almond almond flour. Still soft and moist. This is one of the sorry. moist the flavor is there it's really good texture is really good as well not dry I hate dry cake so this definitely is on the top of my list mm -hmm. I get the hints of um, some sort of alcohol in there it's not overwhelming it's just just right 
I'll give this. I'll, I'll give this a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice and moist. Mm -hmm. Jealousy. Better than price, man. <laughs> Thank you.